So this one's gonna be a little bit different. It's gonna be a lipless crank van, of course. When I poured this mold, I ended up with a bubble in the back tail and there was a segment missing from the pour. So instead of just tossing it, I sanded it down hard and made this really square surface. And I'm just gonna give that a try and see how that works. So these have more of a rounded edge, a little square on the nose, but more rounded. So when I do these as lipless, they kind of have this action where they kind of, and it, it differentiates. Sometimes I'll take wide and sometimes I'll be tight and then I'll be wide again, depending on the speed. I have a feeling this one's gonna be with this flat surface. This is gonna be more of a tight pattern. All right, what to do with this guy? How to, what to paint him? I don't know. I've been going real simple lately. I really don't want to go that complicated with him. Let's do something similar to what I've been doing with the stripes, but let's pull out a comb and spray over the comb kind of stripes. First things first, let's give this guy a whitewash. I've been painting up this pattern for a while. Kind of want to try something new, carve a new thing. Um, I, I've got this big old handle lying around from, I don't know what, it was like a broom handle or something that fell off. Who knows what that fell off of. I'm gonna, I'm gonna chop this sucker up and I'm gonna make a bunch of poppers with it. Already nice and round, just a classic popper. Just kind of taper it down. I think that'll work well. All right, I'm gonna go with some metallic green. too much on there and really smeared it. A little bit of build up there. We'll just wipe that right off. It's okay. It's salvageable. I'm going to make this solid up here anyway. Just keep layering it on until I don't see that anymore. I don't know if you can see that, but this green Pretty much looks to me like it's gold paint with green in it, because I get it. It looks green, and then when you get the ref the reflection off of it, is totally gold. So it makes me double think my original plan to put some gold on the gills. I, I'm thinking maybe a touch of silver or pink. Smooth. Well, I'm trying to decide what color I should do these stripes. And I was thinking of doing maybe red stripes, but I don't know. I think I'm just going to go boring and make them black again. Anyway, hopefully this works. I'm gonna try a comb. See if I can get this. Probably gonna get it everywhere, of course. Subtle. Let's do that better. I can do that darker. Now, of course, the trick, lining this back up. Mm, probably doesn't need much more than that, I guess.
it's subtle. It actually it looks better on camera than it does in real life. I can see it easier on camera than I can without. <laughs> I didn't get it quite as dark on this side as I did this. Let's see if I can give this one more darkening. That's better. of black on his back to darken that top. And let's do the gills. So I'm just going to put a little bit of pink on the gills. Uh, I said a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to fix the belly up a little. Like most paintings, they look better at a distance. Last little touch. Just to darken these eyes. You know, or just miss horribly in his nose. Just give this little guy some gills.